Hey, this is Nikki G, and welcome to Better Commander. Today we are taking off with Najal, the Storm Runner. Najal, the Storm Runner, is a really diesel new commander from Dominaria United. I've been drilling into this guy, looking up cards, and I have to say this card can be pretty powerful. Let's read it, but first, let's take a minute to subscribe to my channel. I'm coming up with decks, and you like decks. Let's make this official and finally just get married. Er, anyway, Najal the Stormrunner is two blue blue and a red for a legendary creature. It's an Afrit wizard, it's a 5-4. You may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Whenever Najal the Stormrunner attacks, you may pay two. If you do, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. Man, that first ability is very powerful in its own right. Sorcery is the most broken card type in the game, especially if we can cast them at instant speed. The second ability copies those same spells for huge bursts of spell slinger power. I initially tried building this as a traditional spell slinger deck with the usual payoffs. I quickly learned that this card requires specific build around cards that wouldn't normally show up in a Mizzix of the Is Magnus deck or a Veyran deck. So Najal wants to attack, but doesn't have any haste or any evasion whatsoever. So how do we get this guy up to speed? Well, there are a ton of little spells that grant evasion that can draw us in the solutions to our problem. Cloak of Feathers and Leap grant flying with a nice little cantrip. And Slip Through Space and Open Into Wonder do similar things, giving the creature unblockability and drawing us cards. And Shadow Rift gives us, you guessed it, Shadow. So we really don't have to worry about Dothy Voidwalker blocking us, basically. Then we got the old Teamer Battle Rage and Psychotic Fury to give us double strike. Teamer Battle Rage also has that ferocious uh, codex on the end of it. The creature also gains trample at, until the end of turn if you control a creature with power 4 or greater. And Psychotic Fury does the thing we want to do, which is drawing us cards. These decks kind of hinge on little setup creatures like uh, Kaza, Royal Chaser, and Vadric, Astral Archmage. We're playing most of the game at instant speed. We can reduce the cost of instants and sorceries with cards like these. Or we can generate massive mana with Mana Geyser and Seething Song rituals like this. We can copy these with Vadric, generating tons and tons of mana. Since we can cast sorceries at instant speed, we can channel all that mana into burn spells like Crackle with Power and Mizium Mortars. Or, I mean, if you're a real degenerate animal like me, you can cast and copy extra turn spells like Karn's Temporal Sundering. I've had this card ever since I bought the Savin deck, but this might be the deck for Backdraft Hellkite. So this is 3 red red for a creature, it's a dragon 4-4 with flying. Whenever it attacks, each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. It's definitely the deck for Wizards of Thay, one of my favorite cards out of the most recent Baldur's Gate set. It has 3 and a blue creature, human wizard, 3-3 three, three, with Myriad. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost 1 less to cast. You may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. This can reduce costs a ton if you attack with Myriad, which can save us the mana needed to copy spells with Najal. So how the heck would you build this guy? Let me know in the comments. I really dig this direction for a spell slinger deck It's a little different. I don't think this guy is the most powerful card in the set by any means, but I do think it builds into a very different direction than most Is It Spells Matters decks. Thanks for watching. This is going to be Nikki G from Better Commander, signing off.